The information presented in this training series is intended for true automotive professionals who are familiar with the concepts and tools commonly used to achieve perfect wheel balance. Wheel Balance 401 – How to Achieve Perfect Balance Brought to you by Perfect Equipment Once a vehicle that is experiencing balance-related issues is brought into the shop and placed up on the rack, it is important for shop technicians to understand how to achieve perfect balance. In Wheel Balance 201, we learned about static and dynamic imbalance and how the addition of two wheel weights to the rim can provide a smooth, rolling wheel assembly. In Wheel Balance 301, we learned more about the different types of wheel weights, including knock-on and adhesive weights. But how do you know which type of wheel weight to use for each situation? And what are the proper steps you should take to achieve perfect wheel balance? Let's start by looking at a cross-section of a wheel assembly, including the wheel and tire. When we zoom in, we see the rim flange and the rim spacing area, which we discussed in detail in the previous training module. We also learned that knock-on wheel weights attach to the rim flange area and adhesive weights attach to the rim spacer area. If we zoom back out, we can now learn how to incorporate these wheel weights to achieve perfect balance. We can see in this example that the wheel features a rim flange and a rim spacing area on the outside and inside of the wheel. When balancing a wheel with inside and outside flanges, it is best to place a knock-on wheel weight on both sides of the wheel at the location of the imbalance. This is the most commonly used balancing method. In the event that there are no rim flanges on the wheel, or knock-on wheel weights are simply not desired. Applying adhesive weights on the inside and outside rim spacing area can also accomplish perfect dynamic balance. In some instances where brake components and suspension systems clearance may interfere with knock-on or adhesive weights on one side, you can utilize a combination of weight styles. You can either place the knock-on weight on the outside or the inside of the wheel while using an adhesive in the alternate location. Many customers prefer to keep their wheel weights more concealed. In this case, you can utilize a knock-on wheel weight on the back flange and an adhesive weight on the inside spacer area, or simply utilize adhesive weights in both locations. If hidden behind a wheel spoke, this method provides nearly invisible results. When determining which type of wheel weights to use, it is important to remember that knock-on wheel weights on the inside and outside rim flange is the most common method used to achieve dynamic wheel balance. Knock-on and adhesive wheel weights can be used together or separately. And wheel weights applied only to the inside spacer area can provide a more concealed look. In order to achieve perfect balance, the first step is ensuring that you have the right tools and equipment to accomplish the task. Because safety is a top priority, it is important to always wear safety glasses when in the shop. You will also need a wheel weight application guide, a rim flange gauge, a soft tip installation hammer, a set of weight removal pliers, a rim scraper, some non-residue wheel cleaner, and a shop rag. You will also need a knock-on wheel assortment kit with all eight of the standard clip styles organized by color and some various adhesive weights. Last but not least, you will need a wheel balance machine. It is important for you to understand the features on your machine before you attempt to balance a customer's vehicle. Next, it is important to visually inspect each wheel and tire for anything that may be noticeable. Things like gashes in the tire, severe or uneven tire wear, low air pressure, and bent wheels should be repaired or replaced immediately. Once the inspection is finished, you can remove, mount, and center the first wheel assembly onto the balance machine. Once the wheel is locked into position, it is important to remove any old weights before you spin the wheel. If there are knock-on weights on the wheel, simply insert the removal horn on the pliers into the hole on the top of the weight clip and place the leg at the bottom of the weight body. Give the pliers a squeeze and pull down to remove the weight. An installation hammer with a removal horn can also be used. 
Once removed, you should thoroughly clean the area where the weights were located. Make sure you use a non-residue cleanser and always wipe the area dry. If the wheel has adhesive weights installed, simply take a rim scraper and push it underneath the adhesive tape until the entire length of the weight has been separated from the rim. Once the adhesive has been removed, use a rag and cleanser to clean and dry the area where the weight was located. It is important to always recycle old wheel weights. You should determine their material type by their imprint and then place them into properly labeled containers. You should never throw old wheel weights in the trash. When first beginning the balance process, it is important to make sure you have the correct tools before you begin. Make sure you understand the features of your balance machine. Always inspect wheels and tires for defects and excessive wear and then repair or replace items if needed. Always remove old wheel weights before you spin the assembly. And always separate old wheel weights prior to recycling and never throw old wheel weights in the trash. The next step in achieving perfect wheel balance is to identify if the vehicle has the factory equipped wheels or aftermarket wheels and then determine if the wheels are made of steel or alloy. If the vehicle is equipped with thinner steel wheels, then you will need to use the standard P knock-on weights for cars or the T weight for trucks, which we discussed in our last training module. If the vehicle features factory alloy or aftermarket alloy wheels, then you will install one of the other clip styles shown or an adhesive wheel weight. If the wheel is the factory equipped alloy wheel with rim flanges and you want to install knock-on wheel weights, then you can utilize the wheel weight application guide to determine which clip type and color code will fit the rim based on the vehicle's make, model, and year information. If the wheel is an aftermarket wheel with rim flanges, or the application you are looking for is not shown in the guide, then use the color-coded rim gauge to determine the correct knock-on wheel weight clip type. Place the edges of the gauge against the wheel flange and rotate through each series until you find a perfect fit. Once you know the appropriate clip type color code, now it is time to spin the wheel assembly on the wheel balance machine. This will tell you the exact location of the imbalance and the mass size needed to offset the imbalance. Once the mass size has been determined, now you can find the appropriate knock-on wheel weight in the assortment rack. On the rack, the clip type color codes move from left to right and the weight mass sizes move from north to south. The clip type and the weight mass size is also printed on the weight body to help make selection quick and easy. Once you have the correct weights, now it is time to install them on the wheel. To properly install a knock-on wheel weight, you place the center of the body below the rim flange at the exact point of the imbalance and then give the clip area one sharp blow with the soft tip hammer. To better understand this process, let's look at our rim flange illustration. When you are prepping to install a knock-on wheel weight, it is important to remember that the top and the bottom of the clip need to be touching the rim flange prior to striking the weight with the hammer. If the top or bottom of the clip is not touching the rim flange, this could weaken the clamping force of the clip and cause damage to the wheel when you strike the weight. When you have the wheel weight properly aligned, Give it one sharp blow with the soft tip hammer directly onto the clip and in line with the rim flange. This will drive the clip onto the flange with ease. It is important to never strike the body of the weight or strike the wheel more than two times as this could also weaken the clamping forces of the weight or damage the wheel. It is also important to always use a soft tip hammer as this reduces the chances that you will scratch the wheel during the installation process. When installing knock-on wheel weights, it is important to remember that for factory-equipped alloy wheels, use the wheel weight application guide to determine the correct knock-on wheel weight clip type. If your application is not shown, use the rim flange gauge to determine the correct knock-on wheel weight clip type. 
All knock-on wheel weight assortment kits should utilize the perfect equipment developed color code system. The top and the bottom of the clip should be touching the rim flange prior to striking it with a hammer. And never strike the body of a knock-on wheel weight or strike the clip more than two times when installing. If you have decided to use adhesive weights to balance the wheel, then you can begin by counting the segments on a strip of weights or on a roll of weights to reach the amount of imbalance. Once complete, simply rip the weight segments apart to achieve the desired weight mass. Prior to installing the weight, you must clean and dry the intended installation area to ensure that the tape will adhere properly. Once clean, simply remove the paper backing on the adhesive weight by pulling down on the quick tab overhang. Grasp the weight in your fingers and properly install it by placing the exact center of the adhesive strip at the exact point of the imbalance. Then firmly press down on the adhesive weight, working it from the center out to each end. It is important to never touch the adhesive tape with your fingers or get the tape dirty prior to installing and never install the weight from one end to the other as this can cause the weight to be offline. These errors can cause adhesive weight failure due to faulty installation. When installing adhesive wheel weights, it is important to always clean the area where an adhesive wheel weight will be installed. Always install the center of adhesive weights first and then work outwards toward the ends using firm hand pressure and never touch the adhesive tape on an adhesive weight prior to installing. Once you have correctly installed the inside and outside wheel weights, now you're ready to remove the wheel from the balancer and repeat the balancing process on the next wheel assembly. Once all of the wheel assemblies have been perfectly balanced, the vehicle can leave the shop and be returned to the customer for safe and comfortable driving. This concludes Wheel Balance 401, How to Achieve Perfect Balance. This training series has been brought to you by 